Hi, Kiss Freaks, it's Monkey Mid here again. Uh, here to give you another exciting installment of uh, Kiss Bootlegs. Uh, I've got the attack with me again today. Uh, I'm not going to argue. He's got the guns, I haven't. So uh, we'll let him join in. There you go. Um, today I'm not going to be doing uh, Kiss Bootleg CDs or Kiss Bootleg LPs. Today I'm actually going to do Kiss Bootleg Silver Press DVDs. Now, uh, back in the good old days when I started, uh, when I started collecting these uh, bootleg DVDs, uh, we didn't have YouTube um, to kind of like find rare Kiss footage, so we had to rely on uh, people swapping VHS cassettes, good old VHS, and DVD R's, that kind of thing. Um, but I did buy a load of um, silver disc press um, Kiss bootleg DVDs, so I'm going to go through them. Um, I don't know if they're collectible or not. I think they are because they've got nice covers like the LPs and the CDs um, and they've got sort of like rare stuff on there that uh, aren't always on Kissology. Everyone thinks, well a lot of people think that uh, all the Kiss stuff, oh you can get it on Kissology. Rubbish! A lot of stuff you can't get on Kissology. Uh, if they gave me, if Kiss gave me to do um, the uh, Kissology series, I would have done a better job. I would put a lot more stuff on there, better stuff as well. But anyway, that's another story. Let's move on. First up, we have uh, Kistory, original title, Kistory. Where did they get that from? Um, this is a double uh, DVD set of all of Kiss's promo videos. Starts right from the beginning. Uh, I think it's Rock and Roll All Night or Come On and Love Me, which is like in a live promo film. Uh, this one's actually Firehouse, so I've got a feeling it's probably from the Mike Douglas show, uh, something like that, which is on uh, Kissology. And it goes right on to Psycho Circus, so it only goes to sort of like late 90s. Uh, which is a good thing. Um, so this is all the promo videos. Uh, it's got stuff like Ars Made For Love New on there, uh, Sean Knows Something, um, Is That You, uh, what else is on here? Oh, loads of stuff, but let's put The X in Six, my favorite. Uh, Crazy Nights, um, Talk To Me. A lot of the stuff is not just promo videos, there's also sort of like TV appearances where they did uh, individual tracks. Uh, so it's all on here anyway. Uh, um, I'll show you the front. Oh, that's the back, quite nicely done. Uh, that's the back of the inner sleeve, the front of the inner sleeve from the revenge period. I do like this period. I know I harp on about uh, not liking Kiss when he took the makeup off, but I do like the uh, revenge period, very good. I could do without him, but that's probably better, sort of thing. Anyway, there we have it. Nice pictures here, got from the revenge period. There we open up. And this is on the Wizard label. That's one they did, did a lot of uh, Kiss bootleg um, silver press discs here. Uh, so it's got the uh, pictures from the solo album, the posters. If I just take the discs out, I'll show you one of them. There it is. That's the Wizard label. And there it is, guys. The solo album of posters. Nice pictures. So if you've got your solo albums, make sure you've got the posters of them. Otherwise, I wouldn't be impressed. The attack wouldn't be impressed. Neither of us would be impressed. All right, let me just slip these back in and move on to the next. So that is Kistory. All right. So next up, we have uh, this is like a TV collection. TV collection 74 to 1976. Now some of this stuff is on the Kissology box set. Uh, you've got stuff like the Mike Douglas show, the ABC shows, both from 1974. Uh, what else have we got in here? You've got TV ads for like the Hotter Than Hell album. Uh, we've got uh, stuff from Detroit 76. Um, yeah, lots of cool stuff on there. Stuff from Germany as well. I would notice at the bottom there. And it's also got the uh, the famous Paul Lind Halloween special from uh, 31st of October 1976, which they did three tracks. I think it was King of the Nighttime World. I uh, can't remember what else was on there. Detroit Rock City and Beth. So um, there you go. So a lot of this is on uh, Kissology. But just because it's on Kissology doesn't mean I'm going to get rid of it. Um, oh no, no, this is really nice. You can't just get rid of stuff like this. This is well done. Again, it's got fold out sleeve. Got nice pictures here. That's when uh, I think they met the mayor of uh, Michigan, sort of thing. Got the key to the city, whatever, back in 1975. And there we go. So that's very nice. Another wizard label uh, disc. There we go. 
So that's the inside. That's that. And that's that on the back. Gene half putting his makeup on. So there you go. Lots of cool stuff on here. I think it's about like nearly an uh, hour and a half's worth. Uh, obviously, you can get all this on a lot of this on YouTube or most of it or all of it even. But it's still nice to have this. You never know when your internet connection is going to break down and you suddenly want to watch Kiss on a Mike Douglas show. And you can't because your internet connection is broken down. Damn it. But you've got this. I have this as a backup. Next up, we have uh, this one, uh, same again as the other one, but it's uh, different years. It's TV collection from 76 to 78. So you've got stuff uh, from the Love Gun period, rock and roll over period. I'm just trying to think what was on here. Uh, got the Land, and, Land of Hype and Glory, which is a really good documentary about Kiss. Uh, well, it's going to be about Kiss, not really about anyone else, is it? Um, you've got stuff like Love Gun TV ad, a live two promos, all stuff from between 76 and 78. So you've got some cool stuff on it. And again, a lot of this stuff is on um, the TV collection. Uh, sorry, TV collection. The Kissology box set. So a lot of it is on there. But this is nicer. So it's nicer packaging. Let me open it up for you here. There we go. Kiss there with the puppets. I tell you what, if anyone has got these puppets, I'd give you anything. I'll give you my house for it. These puppets were in the all coin uh, management offices. Uh, so these will be very rare, one-offs. I don't know who made them. If you know the story behind the puppets, let me know. But anyway, here we go. I'll try not to drop this. Another picture of Gene there. Again, it's on the wizard label. Not that interesting, the label. There you go. No, that's the front and that's the back. That's obviously from Japan 77, the photo session there. So nice one to have. TV collection 76 to 78. Next up, now this one's good. This is the Destroyer Tour 1976. Um, this is basically, uh, now this one isn't on um, the Kissology box set. This is from Texas 76, I believe. Uh, yep, 13th of August 76. Uh, it's not the full show. It starts off with Detroit Rock City, King of Nighttime World, Let Me Go Rock and Roll, Strutter, Hotter Than Hell, Shout Out Loud, Cold Gin, A Solo, and then Nothing To Lose. And then it stops there, unfortunately. So you only, you only got about half an hour to show. Uh, a bootleg of this was going around before it came out on silver disc but it's not on kissology so up yours kissology um because i've got it here texas 78 this has also got another uh, bit on here it's got the uh uh it's got the rehearsals without the makeup that was with the that's for the uh, rock and roll over um tour rehearsal where the guys are rehearsing in some studio or whatever without the makeup on just wearing jeans and t-shirt uh, that's quite cool just a one cam shot but it's still cool i'm not sure if that was on kissology i can't remember and then you've got the uh, dress rehearsal with the makeup um, in 76. Uh, just three songs, Detroit Rock City, King of Nighttime World, and I think do you, um, Detroit Rock City, King of Nighttime World, and Let Me Go Rock and Roll, three songs, full dress rehearsal. So it's quite nice. Uh, that's the front. That's the inside. I'm going to take this out here. I'm going to drop these discs. I know it. it's going to happen. It's going to happen. There we go. I'll stick that back in there. That's that. And that's that. Next up, Budokan 77, the 2nd of April 1977. See, I didn't have to look at the uh, sleeve for that. I knew the date. That's how boring my life is. Uh, anyway, this is uh, Budokan uh, from the TV, uh, Japanese TV um, broadcast, uh, 77. It's not the full show, but it's still uh, very nice. It's an hour show. I think the full show is actually on. Actually, I'll tell a lie, guys. This is the full show. So I think this was available on uh, Kissology. So the full show is on here and on Kissology, but this is nicer. So, and it's also got bonus tracks taken from a different reel uh, and cut from the broadcast. So you got uh, six tracks from it. So it's like a, from a different reel. So I don't know how different it is because I've actually checked it out and I couldn't see a huge difference. Maybe the quality is slightly better or slightly worse, whatever, but still. So that's Detroit, it's very nice. Now this folds right out. And this one's not on the wizard label. This is from the Apocalypse Sound label. So, there we have it. Very nice. And fold that back. And that's the front. And that's the back there. So there you go. So that's Japan, Tokyo, Japan 77. Moving on next, guys, we have 
the infamous Madison Square Gardens. I got that in the wrong order because this one actually came before the uh, Tokyo show. This is uh, Madison Square Gardens on the 18th of February, uh, 1977. Uh, good quality show, but the camera work was only very minimal. It was very basic, um, unfortunately. I'm sure you all know about it because it is on Kissology, I believe, this one. I can't remember. Um, but the actual camera work, it's all just very close-ups of Paul, Gene, Peter and Ace. It would have been nice if the camera actually panned back a little bit just to give you an overall view of the actual stage and the actual sort of like the fireworks and whatever goes on in their shows. Um, but this is the only disappointing thing about Madison Square Gardens. I actually rather listen to this on CD than actually watch it. So, but still very nicely produced. It's got an OBI strip here. Well, it's not a strip. It's actually impregnated into the picture there. So there we have it. That's on the wizard label. And, this is a really nice picture, which I'm sure you've seen millions of times, guys. This is top of the Empire State Building. I think I said to you before, I think Ace was a little bit uh, intoxicated. I don't think Pete was too good either. And there you get these two boring old farts, just sober as anything. And um, well, there you go. So that's top of the Empire State Building, my favorite picture. Or one of my favorite pictures. There you go. So, and there you have it. And that's Madison Square Garden's full show. Okay, moving on next, guys, we have uh, Detroit Rock City 77. Now, this one's from uh, Detroit. I uh, can't remember the date for this one, but I think this is quite early. If you can, if you remember the date, uh, let me know. I think it's around, oh, uh, let's have a look. 22nd of January, uh, 1977. No, that's Chicago. It's got Chicago stuff on here. Um, I think it's around early 77 anyway. Uh, and this one again is not available on uh, Kissology. It's uh, perfect quality. It's done by the, cam the Kisses camera crew, which they often filmed uh, Kisses shows. Um, but yeah, I just can't remember. This one is. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to find out where it. Hang on. Just bear with me, guys. Uh, it's not going to tell me. No. This is definitely from. Um, I think it's around January or February time, 77. But if you know, let me know. I just haven't, uh, I can't remember all the dates. I'm doing all this for you guys. I can't remember everything. If you do, let me know. There we have it. It's on the apocalypse sound again. There it is. And incidentally, this has also got other stuff on here as well. It's got uh, sort of like TV stuff on here. Um, it's just got uh, a Super Max Kinkle report on Kiss from 77, Rock and Roll o Over Tour, TV ad. Uh, Lots of bits and pieces, but this is uh, not available on Kissology, the main show, Detroit 77. So, ha ha! Kissology, I laugh in your face. Anyway, that's the back of it. There we go. Right, guys, ah, I am running out of time, but I'll just quickly show you this one. It didn't take too long. Uh, Kiss meets the Phantom of the Park. This is a German version of it. Um, so unfortunately it's all in German um, so you're not going to get any English uh, soundtrack on this so if you want to learn German this will be the version to get there we are but I bought it for the packaging obviously because I think it's actually quite nice so there we go there we go and there's the back Kiss Meets Phantom of the Park top film should have won the Academy Awards for this one I tell you absolute blinder Right, guys, i still got more DVDs to show you, but I'm running out of time. So until next time, let's rock and roll all night and see you very soon. Adios. Bye, Atat.